Now, of a nucleus when it's mature. Red blood cells do not. But of a nucleus. And so it is the white blood cells that they choose to get to replicate. And these white blood cells uh, will replicate and then they use a compound called colchicine. That word should be in one of your uh, handouts. Colchicine. And colchicine will stop spindle fibers from attaching to the nucleus. And uh, that means that the chromosomes will not phase. So if you treat dividing cells with colchicine, they will go into prophase, they will go to metaphase, but they will stop, they can't go to anaphase because the spindle fibers can't attach to the centromeres. So colchicine will inhibit it. And so then at that point, the technician can take a picture of those cells, of the chromosomes in those cells, and arrange them into a karyotype. So you know we're supposed to have two copies. So we find more than two copies, then something is wrong. So a karyotype, the chromosomes are arranged from the largest chromosome to the smallest, and all like chromosomes, meaning paternal and maternal chromosomes, are, pa are paired together. So in this slide, that's a karyotype. They, they group them into A, B, C is the biggest group, D, E, and those chromosomes get a smaller, L, G, and then we have our sex chromosome. So we have two copies of chromosome one, two copies of chromosome two, and two copies of chromosome three, and so on. But every chromosome has a partner. So uh, one allele will be on one chromosome, and the other allele will be on the other chromosome. So this chromosome may have big A, and this chromosome may have little A. But again, you know it's over. It's hundreds of genes on one chromosome, literally. Hundreds, maybe even more. But the chromosomes are arranged according to their centromere position. So anybody remember what kind of chromosome this is? By centromere position. Metacentric. Tus is in the middle. And that's a submet. This is the human genome, by the way. Submetacentric. These will be acrocentric chromosomes. These are also submetacentric. The X chromosome is also a submetacentric. But the uh, F group, this group, are metacentric. They're very, very small, but they are metacentric. I would say that these may be telocentric. So they are listed as chromosome 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This would be 6 and so on. So if you have too many copies of chromosome 21, uh, that would be, as you know, Down syndrome. But that's not the way they look. This is the way they look on a slide. And so the technician will uh, take a picture of this, blow it up, and then and pair all the chromosomes. Just like as we saw here. And so what you have are two of these. And that's going to be your assignment for next week. Do I need to stand on top of the table and say that? Do I need to shout, this is an assignment? Okay. Yeah, you got two of them. So to make that karyotype. So it's good, it's ideal to make two copies, or even three copies. But none of the chromosomes are overlapping. You can just cut them out and do a karyotype of them. And that's the only reason for this, this PowerPoint, um, is, the, is, is that is the, the assignment. Now let's move to the next sound. So I know what probably happens. You say, well, I don't have to do anything else, so I stop listening. I'm not sure that that's the, 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 the scenario. So let's go to another lab four. So we just did this one. So let's do this one.
Lab for Human Gametogenesis. Actually, oh, this is one that has a password. Okay, meiosis in humans, we kind of talked about this. Do we have to know the password? I gave it to you a long time ago. Anybody want to write it down and give it to her? I don't want to make it public other than for this class. Okay, this thing is going to go up where the public can see it, and I just want to keep this for you guys. Um, so this is before chromosome replicates. This one has sister chromatids. You remember going through this. Mm -hmm. And then they pair and separate the meiosis. This is really more of a review than anything else. And some other materials. I probably should uh, use this as a reference point. I guess the point of this is that we get one set of chromosomes from one parent and another set from another parent. And, and so we have a paternal and a maternal chromosome. I'm, I'm, don't, unless you have questions, I'm not going to go through every, because we really finished this, but if you got questions on it, uh, we can. This does show recombination and crossing over. <coughs> This is a better diagram of that. So this chromosome and its sister chromatids, so both of these are alike because they are copies of each other. So we got little a, little b on this one, of course, on the other, but they still have one centromere. And so it's considered one chromosome. And because we can have recombination, now this would be a big A and this would be a little a here because of recombination between these two. So it's not like it was inherited. It's different from the way it was inherited when it forms gametes because of recombination. So we can get different gametes from this individual. <coughs> Synaptonemal complex. I'm going to go ahead and exit from this because I think there's nothing new here that we haven't already covered. I think you remember mm -hmm. these different stages there. So I'm going to go ahead and exit from this one. And we have one more. Life cycles. Which one is this karyotype different? Yeah. This is the same. Let's go to life cycles. This is going to be of significance later on in the course, in the laboratory section, maybe even in the other section. Is that basically there are specific organisms in genetics and in research that I like for you to be familiar with because we encounter these kinds of organisms when we're working genetic problems. So, looking at the sporophyte, you know what the word fight means? Whenever you see that word, you know you're talking about a plant. That's what that means, sporophyte. And it's diploid. It undergoes meiosis and form haploid spores, and then this will undergo mitotic division and form a gametophyte. But we talked about this in detail. We, this is a shorter version.